Hi, and welcome to another episode of River Training. This is day six. Let's go. Before we start, if you do like my video, please do click the like button and subscribe for future videos. Today, I'm going to be doing some USRPT in the river. Now, I'm at a slight disadvantage today as I've already been to the gym. I haven't really trained properly in what, best part of three weeks now. Um, the river's freezing, so that's not going to help. And um, well, it's also getting quite shallow in there, as we can perhaps begin to see. As it hasn't rained, it hasn't rained now in, well, just over two weeks, which is quite unlike here. But as a result, the river is getting shallower. So we'll have to manage with that, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and let's hope there's a good set. In today's set, obviously, I'll have to be going one direction downstream and one direction upstream. Uh, normally speaking, I take nine strokes when I do USRPT after I break out after my underwater. So I'm going to try and hit nine strokes each way. Obviously, one way is going to be significantly further than the other way. And I'm going to take extra rest today because uh, I'm not fit. So we're going to probably go on about 45 seconds. Let's see how it goes. Still a toasty eight and a half degrees Celsius. As you may have picked up on, I am wearing two hats. Underneath the purple Dartmoor hat, I have a white hat, as you can see. Two hats makes it significantly warmer in there, I'll tell you, but also it stops the hats from slipping off. Right, so, little question for you. The white hat underneath is a team that I've represented recently. I will pin the comment of the person who gets correct, the team that I swam for, and the individual event that I swam. I only swam one individual event. So if you get the team that I swam for, and the event, I will pin your comment. In the past couple of episodes, I've been jumping in immediately, to complete submersion, in order to take away the slow effect of getting in. So if you're used to cold water, then the best way to get in is jumping in. However, the RNLI recommend that if you're not used to cold water, that you get in slowly, because otherwise you can put yourself into shock and that shock can make you drown. So only if you are competent in cold water should you get in like this. Rep number one, eight and a half degrees. Let's see how it goes. One down, 19 to go. Woo! Cold! Five done. Quarter of the way. Oh, I hope I warm up by the end of the set. Okay, going upstream sucks. Oh, really noticing the difference. Oh. Ooh, yeah, halfway. 
halfway. Five more. Pretty quite toasty now. Oh, I whacked my foot. Oh, it's so shallow at that point. Oh, toenail smack. Two more, I'm getting tired now. Whew. And done! Woo! Oh. That was okay, the only thing that's cold is my hands. Feet aren't too bad. A little bit cold. Body's quite toasty. I'll tell you what, as I said earlier, considering this is, uh, this is free, uh, who needs a pool? This works! All right, well. Good to be done. Go home and warm up. Anyway guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time for day seven.